What's up, David? How you doing? Excuse me for interrupting. Hey, Stephen, Adam Kokesh. Do you mind doing a quick interview for my YouTube channel? Uh, yes. What's the angle? I want to challenge you to fight. What's the angle? Well, because you've done it before, right? What's the angle? Well, you made the case in, in your video about marijuana that What's marijuana was more dangerous than alcohol. What's the angle? I'm getting there. No, I asked you what your angle is, what your channel is about. Oh, my channel. It's a, it's a libertarian channel. Okay. Ben Chui in this corner is really weird. Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't make that argument. Okay, so, well, it, it came across in the video that you made about marijuana legalization that you were making the case that alcohol was not as dangerous as marijuana. Is that not the case? I didn't make the case. Professor bon uh, Dr. Boniface, who's uh, an MD in neuropsychiatry and one of the foremost uh, people, uh, doctors across the country who lectures on the subject, made the case, uh, made the comparison between how the body processes alcohol versus marijuana. And she made a very compelling case. Well, and she pointed out some, some specific facts about yeah. the differences there, but in the bigger context of your video, it, it really seemed like you were making the case that alcohol was more dangerous or less dangerous than marijuana, so are, are you what not? What did I say first thing in the video? What was the first thing I said in that video? I apologize. I didn't memorize the entire no, thing. No, you wanted to catch me on one thing that a doctor said that I didn't say. So you should interview the doctor because I'm not qualified to discuss exactly where marijuana is stored. Ramey, actually, right here. Come in here, Ramey. Come in here. Ramey, come on. Come in here. Come, Ramey. Ramey, come on. So, come which, on. so which is more dangerous, marijuana or alcohol? How, Ramey was talking about how it was interesting that marijuana was stored in fat. Um, I'm not going to answer your question. I would ask the doctor. But the first point I make, and it's so funny because you're a libertarian, the libertarians got so mad, was I said, if you want to make it a state issue, if it should be legalized or not, fine. That's a legitimate discussion to have. The problem I have is with people legalizing it on a false premise. Whether it's well, more I agree, harmful, I, I agree with that. More harmful or less harmful than alcohol, saying that it's harmless or saying that legalizing it won't result in its increased usage, whereas the data that I use showed that actually increased uh, usage increases, particularly among young people. I said that's not honest, yes. but I believe it's a state issue. And libertarians, I think a lot of them who dislike that video missed that point that you were criticizing the liberal argument for legalization of marijuana, which is I like it, it's safe. I, you know, therefore the government should not prevent well, me from see, doing well, it. Well, you see, and you forgot it too because you didn't remember that was a first point I made in the video, and I, I was a, a point that I went out of my way to uh, very much speci uh, specify. Um, it's not just a liberal argument, it's a libertarian argument. A lot of no. people who want to push, a lot of people who want to push the marijuana bandwagon try and act as though it's not a harmful substance, as though if you legalize it, it will decrease use or it'll uh, end the black market, the drug market, um, and that isn't accurate. That was what the video was about. So I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to answer questions uh, that are outside of my wheelhouse that I had doctors answer on film because I knew they were out of my wheelhouse. Sure. Well, the libertarian argument, I mean, libertarians will make those arguments, but the libertarian argument is you own your body you get to decide what you do with it it's morally wrong for the government to say you can put this in your body and not that yeah so you agree with that I made the case in the video it's a state issue if states want to legalize marijuana fine well, I would vote I would vote against legalizing it in my state because I don't so you would vote to use the force of government to interfere with an individual's right to decide what they put in their body based on your opinion I guess you don't understand the role of federal government enlighten me well, you understand the difference between states' rights and federal government's rights. So you believe that there should be a federal ban on any state making marijuana illegal? I don't think governments have rights. I think individuals have rights. That's the libertarian case. So the libertarian does not believe in any fundamental role of federal government? Well, Because if you don't believe in a fundamental role of limited uh, federal government, if you don't frame it in and give it legitimate parameters, then you're just opening the floodgates for anyone to tack onto the list whatever they want. Exactly. I believe the fundamental role of the government, and I've used this analogy as a Canadian in me, is the role of a hockey referee. Um, firstly, I appreciate that you didn't even ask me if I wanted to do the interview. You, you didn't tell me which angle you were. You lied. You were dishonest, which is pretty cowardly, I think. But um, I think it's pretty cowardly. I think you should just tell me where you come from. But the fundamental I told you I'm coming from a libertarian no, perspective no, here. I said, what's the angle on this piece? And you immediately go into something a doctor said that I didn't say and ask me a question that only a doctor would be qualified to answer and throw it to me. And then you didn't understand the point that I made right off the bat that marijuana is a state issue, which is, of course, a libertarian stance. So no, it's not. Presentation. Um, okay, well, most libertarians I know would say that it's a state issue. But the fundamental role of government would be that of a hockey referee. That would be a good example. It's designed solely to keep the players, meaning the people, safe from inside and outside threats. The legitimate role would be things like military police force. If you don't think so, we would disagree and make sure the pace of the game is kept, meaning that you make sure people are following the rules and no one is harmed. Aside from that, you step out of the way. What is government? Thank you. I guess that's that. <laughs> Normally word misused, thrown around like I, conservative, uh, liberal, yes, and patriot. They don't really know the real meaning of it. Seems kind of cowardly to just walk away from, from an otherwise fun interview. But if, uh, if, if you were willing to define government, do you want? Because I, you you I told you that's how I was going to answer your thing. I don't, I'm not going to answer questions regarding doctors. I just gave you my view on government. So I gave you, you said, a different question. Government? 
I'm, we, we've been doing an interview for six minutes. Do you see the... Pan around here. These people have been... Pan around. Go ahead, pan around. Can you pan around? I know I'm black. No, I know, I know there's people I'm waiting to take my picture here, but that's okay. Can you throw a race, race card at me? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty inappropriate. I'm saying these people... Hey, folks, can you make some sounds since he won't pan around? Who's been waiting for pictures here? Can you make some sounds? Yeah, I just don't want to be rude. Cool. So I answered your question. I felt like I answered it adequately. I just really wish you would be more straightforward. Well, I want to have a friendly debate about the role of government. By the way, you should actually tell someone and ask them if you're about to interview them. I did. I, said, would you, I came up, I said, would you like to do an interview for my YouTube channel? Was there something you didn't understand about that? I guess, I guess you didn't understand, you know, would you like to do an interview for my YouTube channel? Which, is, which, which would go to like not understanding what is government or the role of government, and, and this is why we have to get these parting shots in here for people that aren't willing to engage in the ideas. There are a lot of conservatives here at CPAC 2013 who want to talk to libertarians, who are willing to engage on the issues, but you know when, when you have a guy like Steven Crowder who doesn't even want to listen, who doesn't want to engage, well, then you get this uh, conservative establishmentality of we can't challenge these ideas, we can't ask questions, we just have to go along with the dogma. Well, that's what you get from some people here. In case you were wondering, because Steven Crowder in his video, at least with the video, was making the case that alcohol was safer than marijuana, I thought I was going to challenge him to a fight with him under the influence of alcohol and myself under the influence of marijuana. But instead, I challenge him to a fight, he calls me a coward, and runs away. Our orders were to come down here and help out with security. Well, I know that Iraqis stand in line to come to this country. I love our troops. Uh, I wish I could serve myself, but, um, and I absolutely love our troops, so I'm a great patriot.